can be a good thing because it is a little bit more relaxing. And let's see, Coco, I just kind of like to go through these sometimes to take a look. Sugar, nice move. People just can't get enough sugar, even in a recession. Maybe they feel depressed. You know, they want to drink the real Coke with the real sugar instead of the Diet Coke. Who knows? Feeder cattle. Little bearish lean hogs. I don't do a lot of trades on these unless something really stands out. And I'm just kind of, I like to, I kind of just like to keep an eye of where they are and stuff like that. Cotton is an interesting one. Uh, we do have this kind of a squeeze here. We are kind of l right in this downward trend, right at the 89. Uh, again, I still think cotton's going lower. All right, I, we've looked at pretty much everything. So this is going to be kind of a pretty intense week. We've got, um, let's see, Hubert and I doing a, well, you know, let me roll into the free video here. I forgot it was about 20 minutes of stuff on the uh, premium video. Hopefully it'll help you out for the week ahead. And in the free video, this is going to be a pretty crazy week. Hubert and I are going to be doing a, a live trading mentorship uh, with a small group here in Austin. And uh, it's probably going to be a crazy week for doing a, a mentorship. Uh, it's gonna, we've done mentorships when it's been a quiet, choppy market. And we've done mentorships when it's been an incredibly volatile market. And uh, they're both just obviously going to be different. I mean, there's different trading strategies for different markets. And so I'm looking forward to this upcoming week. It'll be pretty crazy. Monday, and the way we're going to do it is Monday, Hubert's... Hubert's got it, and I'm going to be working, uh, doing some trading and working on my book. Ha ha. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, we work together and, and um, show everybody our different strategies. And then on Thursday, um, everybody's stuck with just me and go through some, like, some of the swing trading stuff and things like that as well and just kind of whatever else they need. So it'll be a fun time. It'll be a crazy week. And we have uh, there's a couple of um, interesting webinars coming up this week. Uh, one guy, uh, Phil Anderson, he wrote a book called The Secret Life of Real Estate and Banking, which I referred to. He's going to fly in from London and do a webinar on Friday, and we will have a, um, a link for that that's going to come up. And then uh, Carolyn Broden's doing one on Fibonacci retracement. I believe that's Thursday that's coming up. We'll have a link for that coming up. And what else? Rob's got a live trading room webinar. It's going to be free, free uh, three days in his room coming up the week after next. So that'll be, it's just great just to kind of see, you know, uh, Rob kind of take ownership of, of um, new life in the room and, and kind of doing that and, and doing, uh, uh, seeing what his trades are and, and everything like that. And that'll be a chance to kind of for him to kind of showcase what he's been doing now. And other than that, so, okay, a free video. Let's actually show you something useful here. So a lot of times people ask is like when day trading, what is the best anchor chart? And if you're doing stock indexes, there we go, uh, stock, index, stock indexes, it is really critical to keep an eye on the hourly chart. We had a really nice squeeze last week on the hourly here. And when you get something like this, you just go with it. And this was a nice move from like 1180 and you didn't lose the two bars of momentum until you got to like 1120. It was a really, really solid move. You only need one of those like a month to make your trading goals. And then just don't piss, it, piss away all your capital in between waiting for good opportunities like that. So we have another squeeze setting up. We'll see, um, like I said, I'm doing this at like 10 in the morning on Sunday. So the futures haven't opened yet. But um, you know, any move up to the weekly pivot would be an, a resistance opportunity. And we'll see which way this squeeze fires off. And you can use this hourly on any, any market. Again, even if you're just day trading, you can actually use it as a directional filter. I've been using this for gold. Uh, this is an awesome hourly squeeze on gold, 1800. Uh, we came up to, the, we came up to a, a weekly pivot, kind of chopped around a little bit. And then on something like this, what I'll do is once it loses momentum, I'll sell half and then I'll wait for a red TTM and sell the rest. All right, so it's been a really solid indicator in this market. You're not getting whipsawed and trying to catch every move. And I've talked to a couple of people who've asked, you know, they've, they've been really focusing on like tick charts and, and uh, you know, trying to catch little points here and there. And if you go here and look at like say a tick chart of gold, the 97 tick chart is good for day trading, but it is gonna be choppier. You know, here's a, here's a little squeeze here and okay, it goes up and then comes right back down. And you know, here's a down squeeze here. Of course, you wouldn't take this because the C wave's above zero. Uh, and here was a nice one. You know, you did this one and you did catch a nice move back up to the pivot. And then this one was, eh, you know, probably got stopped out. So this is good though, because the, the strategy with these is that you take these trades, you're not, you don't have to risk a lot. And then every once in a while you catch a nice runner. Okay, and that's, that's good. 
What's nice is if you're also looking at an hourly, is if you can line those up, if you know that an hourly squeeze just fired off, you can actually end up staying in a trade longer. And that's where you make money trading. You don't make money trading by trading, okay? You don't make money trading by getting in and out of 30 positions in a day. You make money day trading by holding, okay? And I mean, by that, I mean holding on to positions that are going your way. That's how you make money trading. So 60 minute squeezes like this are nice because that gives you a little extra boom to just stay in the trade. All right, hope that helps. You guys have a great rest of the weekend. We'll see you at the next update.